Welcome YouTubers Collectors This is Anubis009 And today I present you from Transformer The Last Night Premier Edition The Lost Class Decepticon Berserker And again we are over here in my friend's uh, Joe apartment That's mean we are in another location and for the box, it's a very, very nice our box. Over here on the top, you can see the Premier Edition right there in the top. And the rest of the box, you have a very, very nice artwork of him, Berserker. Let me put the camera in a good position. That way you guys can see it. There we go. <laughs> very, very nice. He is a Decepticon. Over here in the side, Transformers. In the other side, a very, very nice Decepticon. Right there, logo. Transformer in this side. In the other side, a really, really nice artwork of him. I really like that, look really, really cool. And over here, you have the generation symbol of the Autobot, pretty cool. And for the back of the packaging, you can see him in his robot mode and his vehicle mode. He still have that SUV um uh the um Chevrolet SUV he still had that form and over here you see Bumblebee and Barricade and over here you see a warning don't eat this part <laughs> yeah because the weapons are kind of small they had the warning and this is all for the packaging let go and open this guy and see how cool he is and this is berserker in his vehicle mode and he still look like a look like a silverado uh suv still have with the chevrolet logo over here in the front really really cool it's painted really really nice i like that you can see the logo let me zoom in really really cool um his uh, front lights are silver you can see eh? very nice detail mold over here on the side he have a decepticon symbol over here in the door really cool his window are kind of like a blue very very nice they had the red lights over here in the front the top and they had the red lights over here in the back in the back he have again this this Chevrolet symbol painted right here that's that's a nice detail for this guy they had the uh, uh, tail lights painted in red really really cool no other paint because this is more you know like um, special division uh, uh, government vehicle that's mean he not supposed to be painted in other way there you go really 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 cool I like this guy and in comparison this is from the Ace of Extinction Breakdown Battle 7 SUV and it still look the same uh, Voyager size but I like the new one look much much better than this this one is not bad but this one have a better detail 
for the other comparison, let me bring the first movie Sector 7 SUV. Okay, I think this is a really, really nice mold. Slightly more bigger than the new uh, Berserk. But you can have a very, very good idea how they look. And for other one, let me bring the Bumblebee, the Camaro from Age of Extinction. Really, really cool. I like it. Bumblebee is a little bit more short in the top. That's mean it's quite a nice, accurate uh, way to look at. Really, really cool. Now let's take this one out and let go and transform this guy and see how cool he look in rubber mode. Let go transform this guy. The transformation is quite easy. You know, first thing you need to untab this area a little bit. Very easy to untab. There you go. So you can move this one out like that. There you go. And you need to untab this side. In a second. Uh, oh, first this one. There you go. The little doors. That way you have more access. There you go. Voila. Untab the front like that. And yes, this tab go over here in this peg. Now take off the hood, untab it, move it like that. Just put it way in the back like this and just flip this one like that. And you already have this part now just we got a little bit this you see they unconnected this little peg go with this peg over here as you see the whole section unlock it to the same thing with this other side just we go a little bit there you go, and you unpack the whole section. Now, for the top of the cab, just it's double joint over here. Just move it, close this section like this, and close the rest in. And this is gonna be his backpack. Now move hold the whole legs move it like this there you go voila take this panel move it like this sorry for the shaking of the camera move this panel like this no way you already have it like that. Take the back of the feet. Oh, first you need to move the legs front. Twist the legs over here, front. Move the back support. Move this one like that. Take the tabs. Trying to accommodate the best you can. There you go. And you have the legs. Now, let me see he stand it up. Let me move the camera a little bit to the top and that way we can finish with the arms. Let me move this light a little bit more back. There we go. 
Now for the arms, just move it like this, move it like this. Now the little spikes over here, small spike like that. And I think I'm missing one of the spikes. There you go. Sometimes this part just move. At least it's a big poison. Just move it like that. Turn it around. Turn it around. Put these little spiky things up. Like that. Take the arms. Move this like that, and that way you have the arms ready there. Move the arms like this, that way you have this part. Close this one in this position. Close the other one like this. This is the doors. Make sure the backpack is in position. There you go. Make sure everything is tabbed correctly. There you go. And that's him in his rubber mold and he have his problem and I got to explain that later but let's go and check it out how he look and he look really really cool I like the way they paint them look like a iron color really really nice have some red the threads look really, really cool. They get closer to his face. He have a really, really nice mold in his face. Really, really cool. The chest area has some red. Really cool, nice, nice molding. The claws have red. Really cool red over here very nice tall nails over here the foot area they're black yes yeah, he have a little bit of backpack but it's not too much you can do with the backpack is is there it's mean it's not too much you can do with it but it's it's not too bad now he has some movements the head is a little bit in ball joint is don't move too much left and right just because the thread is over here he can look up he can look down the arms can go forward can go all around there you go uh, he have a swivel in the bicep really really nice he have a elbow movement and he don't have a wrist articulation only when you transform him in uh, vehicle mode he has some movement the legs um, no a little bit of waist movement but because his backpack he but he can look down with the waist His leg can go up, 
he can go back just because the backpack don't let him go completely he have a swivel in the leg he have knee bending go completely back no articulation in his feet only the back over here can move but you need to put in some position for his uh rubber mode there we go and these heels are not really really good and that's the problem this guy have now he come with some weapons and they come with two weapons it looks some kind of like a spear knife something but they look really really cool and they come with two of them there you go They come with two and you just peg it over here in his hand there you go this is one let's see if I can peg the other one and this is two they look very cool not gone they don't come with any gun weapon that's the only downside of him they take up the weapons and we start to compare with other transformers and this is with the other berserk not bad I prefer the new version of him another comparison this with the TF Transformer Prime Decepticon Vehicon and he's quite good in a scale and this is with Voyager class from Transformer the last night Optimus Prime so in he quite a good scale with him he go more like uh, the chest area size that means it's a good size for the boy hair class if you want to see more videos of transformer star wars and other sci-fi toys you can click in the subscribe button and click in the little bell in that way you receive new alert videos please put a like and leave a comment in the comment section in that way i can improve my videos and my reviews and like i always I say enjoy your hobby and play with your toy collection this is anubis 009 and I'll see you to the next time.